frankly, the, the value uh, play right now appears to be outside the U.S. borders. If you look at uh, places like Europe, for instance, uh, you have a, 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 a market that was beat up pretty bad um, in terms of sentiment for several quarters, and now we're starting to see improving uh, PMI numbers come out, improving manufacturing numbers coming out of the e, uh, Eurozone outside of the U.K., and frankly, you're seeing the same thing in places like Brazil, services PMI is starting to pick up. India, services PMI is starting to pick up. So we're starting to see uh, a little bit more growth uh, coming out of the uh, uh, foreign markets outside the United States. Hmm. Okay, David, look, let's talk about the what we're seeing in the markets at the moment. Um, are you surprised by the, um, using your words, muted reaction? Not necessarily. We think that the, uh, uh, the impact of, uh, on markets from terrorism has been muted because these soft target attacks um, are really something that sadly, and I don't mean to sound cold, are really already baked into the market psyche. Um, they don't really surprise the markets, and they're not new news. However, any successful attacks on hard targets, think infrastructure, uh, large institutions, these could have a more meaningful impact. However, given the security footing we're on globally, we think such an attack is not necessarily likely.